Welcome to the Style That Binds Us YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about an important subject, finding the right bathing suit for you. It's just a nightmare for so many of us, definitely. The things that I've always had the worst time with were finding blue jeans and finding bathing suits. And I feel like even the lighting in the in the dressing rooms, you know, sometimes it's, it's bad. I mean, it's just a horrible experience. I think everybody, except for maybe 1% of people when they are trying on bathing suits gets in, a, in an angry mood. Um, but anyway, we want to help you with that. So today I'm going to talk about body types and I'm going to talk about some bathing suits and then we'll have a shopping section divided into categories so that you can say, okay, well this is my body type, so body type, so I'm going to go for these. And it might not be, you know, what you, it might not be a string bikini you know, the things that you envision that you'd like to wear. You have to remember who you are and what your lifestyle is when you choose your bathing suit and your price point. So first I'm gonna talk real quick about what, what I wear. I used to have a bunch of different bathing suits. They were almost. So I finally splurged and um, I got, because of my body type, I needed, and I'm gonna go over this more later, I needed some straps for support here and also I wanted to accentuate my waist so this kind of ties right at the waist so it, it you know it creates a pretty silhouette and then I have a matching sarong and the sarong is really fun if you follow us you might have seen there's a picture of Delia wearing it almost like a halter top you can wear it as a strapless dress type thing or you can just wrap it around your waist which is what I do a lot during the day and then I just put on a hat and sunglasses and a little fun sandal, maybe something like this from Lake or uh, even a flip-flop, I mean, whatever it is, depending on where you're gonna be. If you're gonna be at the beach, you know, you're gonna take them off at the, uh, at the edge of the dock probably anyway, you know, before you get into the sand. But if you're gonna be poolside, maybe a cute little black slip-on sandal would be fun too and some great black sunglasses. So anyway, that's kind of my go-to thing, and it can take you from dockside to a restaurant. You feel covered up enough that you're comfortable. This is at, at a pool or at the beach. I don't think in town I would necessarily wear that to go out to lunch, obviously. But anyway, that is my suggestion, and, and I've put together um, a selection of sarongs and cover-ups that are good to have, too, and that's what this... I don't know how much you can see of this, but it's the same thing. This is just something that you can throw on. It's so comfortable. It's very lightweight, so you're not hot when you're down at the beach, but you can definitely, you know, run errands or go to lunch or something like that. Even if you have your bathing suit on underneath, you don't feel, you know, it would not be fun to stick on a pair of jeans over a bathing suit. So anyway, it's nice to have a couple of those in, in the closet too. Okay, now, Dee is going to come out and talk to us. And... Um, this is a cute, cute, cute all-American striped bathing suit that we love, and we've talked about sunscreen before. Um, you always need to wear sunscreen. Everybody knows that. And also, um, you need to make sure that you pick the right top, especially for your body type. But let's say, so Delia has, she is young and <laughs> are you gonna say i'm a flat chest no no <laughs> she doesn't have a lot of body issues and so um she is wearing a simple suit like this now the stripes are cute you, people tell you that don't wear stripes going sideways that's if they're wide stripes that's when it makes you look wider but these are micro stripes so they're almost like a solid color um the, the hardest thing sometimes to find when you have a bit of a thing is to find one that fits. It's not always riding up, you know, and that's hard these days because they love to make bathing suits that kind of, that don't give you much coverage in the back. But um, that's something to kind of keep in mind when you are searching for a suit. And in this case, this is just a cute, easy, this is a good suit if you're a swimmer, too. Um, something like that. So you can turn around and... And it can go low in the back. If you are concerned about, I'm just going to be blunt during this video, back fat, then you do not want <laughs> this. Okay, you want to look at a bathing suit that comes up higher. It's going to cover that up. Okay? Alright, so why don't you go change to another bathing suit and I'm going to talk more about body types. 
If you have a pear-shaped body, then that means sloped shoulders, narrower a waist, but then you feel like your weight is kind of down here. All right, so you're kind of going like this. And if that's the case, you can use common sense, but what you really want to do is balance yourself out and you want to bring attention to the upper half if you can. So down below, it's a great idea um, if you're, well, it can be in a one piece, a, a two piece, or a tankini. The darker colors on the bottom, and then maybe a floral fun print on the top. Anything maybe with ruffles, or if, this, if, if you can pull it out to the side a little bit here. So you're creating the illusion that this is wider, and the darker color will make this part seem smaller. You can also do a little skirt, but like for me, if I did a skirt, it would have to be so long to cover up the widest part of my hips. So I'm not sure that's a great idea. What I like to do is find a bathing suit that's cut up a little higher so the illusion is that your legs are longer. But whatever you do, don't get just like a boy short or a big, thick banded bottom that is just going straight across because that's, you know, if you have like a little triangle bathing suit, top and then a wide bathing suit bottom, you can imagine that's totally reinforcing this triangle shape that pair bodies have. So in order to enhance your figure, less attention here, do something more dramatic up here. All right, and always like a, anything that's cross, cross shoulder, one piece, you know, one shouldered is always flattering because it shows off your collarbone or something with ruffles, anything that's like a deep V that, um, or a halter top, all of those look really pretty. So that is for pear-shaped women. And then if you are curvy, you have a larger chest, then you're gonna really concentrate on wearing things that give you support. And when you're looking for bathing suits, rather than looking for bathing suits that come in small, medium, and large, you might wanna look at bathing suits that, that have the cup listed so that you can get the right, the right cup for you. And the wider the strap, the better you know, the support you get. Underwire, bras, anything like that. Um, so that's when you're a curvy type person, concentrate on making sure that you have enough uh, support up here. And then, because you usually, you know, if, you have, if you're curvy, then you have a little waist, so you wanna accentuate that. So anything like what I was talking about with that bathing suit, if it ties here or crosses here, anything that shows what a little waist you have, that's very flattering. Um, so those are the things to remember about like a figure eight or a curvy shape. And if you do have a curvy shape, especially make sure that it covers in the back. If you feel like you're, you're exposed, exposing too much skin, the sarongs are just the greatest thing to me because your legs still show, you know, and you can take it off and take it on uh, and put it back on, but it's a great, lightweight, easy way to kind of give you a little coverage if there's something that, you, that you're that you not crazy about, um, about your body, okay? And then the other thing is if you are, if you don't have a, much of a chest, then ruffles are a great way to, to sort of create the illusion of that. So that being said, <laughs> Walk on. Vivi! No, you have a, an adorable figure, but. Um, so this is a really cute example of, of that. This, and this is such a fun top too. If you put on like a sarong, I mean, how cute is that to go, you know, out to lunch when you're on vacation? It's just adorable. Sunglasses are perfect for it too. Yeah. Um, so, sort of a ruffled top. And this is a really cute bottom. Make sure that the elastic is not too tight anywhere. But this is great too, do you? Lucky girl does not have a muffin top. But if you do have one, you're, you're uncomfortable about that. Rather than wearing a bikini bottom, you want to get something that goes above your belly button. Okay? And some of them are made with tummy control, all of that. So this is a really, really cute suit that works for... For people without a lot of figure issues or i wouldn't wear it necessarily if i had a large chest because that'd be a lot going on <laughs> um but i think it's really cute for your figure said so, yeah that's adorable very very cute very very cute 
Okay. If you have what is known as an apple figure, which isn't such a flattering thing, the way they make it sound. But it's great to think about bathing suits that cross over or that have like ruching. Ruching is everyone's friend. That's why you see so many bathing suits with it because it really does, um, you know, had some lumps and bumps that we might have. And um, all, there are a ton of suits too that sort of almost have like a spikes feel to them that suck you in and that's nice. And there again, if you feel like you have a lot of jiggling going on, go for some nice straps and then some kind of ruching or just like I said before, the wrap look or a bathing suit that ties here, whatever it is where you've got full coverage but something is sort of camouflaging here. Possibly even a little peplum would, would work for you because usually if you have that shape, you have cute little legs so you can do a little peplum skirt. That would be a really cute suit for you. And then the other body type is someone that has, they call it a boyish figure. These are people that are not curvy. They don't have much of a waist, but they also don't have to deal with a low hip like um, we talk about sometimes. They don't get the waist, but they also don't have to deal with uh, what some people call saddlebag. So let's say you're straight up and down pretty much. Then you definitely want to find a suit. Obviously a little string bikini would be adorable, but also um, suits that have like a different pattern going down the sides. So the front is one, color and then the side can be another color or a pattern or whatever, giving the illusion of the figure eight shape, giving the illusion that you have a waist or a suit that does have a little tie at the waist or a stripe. Anything that that brings attention to the middle, that creates the look of a waist. And also deep V is good too because it creates a little shape. But when you have that kind of figure, you can wear pretty much any kind of suit, but just concentrate on, you know, if you just wear something like a little flat bandeau top and a little bikini bottom, and you have uh, not a curvy figure, that's gonna be more of an athletic look, which might be what you're going for. But in that situation, if you're rather angular, things like ruffles, asymmetrical top, um, deep V, anything like that is going to make your figure a little more um, you know, feminine, womanly. So that's that, and now Delia is about to come on with her last choice, which is great for anybody pretty much, except if you have a large chest, sometimes a bandeau is not, is not the best option for you for obvious reasons. But this is really fun because there are no straps, so if you are gonna get just a hint of sun, um, you won't have tan lines. But we know we always wear always wear sunscreen. So um, it's really cute. It's it's a smocked look for the for the bottom half, which is so cute. It's kind it's very retro, which right now retro is all the rage, especially in bathing suits. Um, the high waisted like she wouldn't have worn this. I wouldn't have worn this when I was younger either at the time because you would think it was like old ladyish. But now it's the chicest of the chic, and there again brings back. Uh, visions of being on the French Riviera, the Italian Riviera in the 1950s. So it's super cute, adorable, and I like it that it is a little more covered up than just a string bikini. Same in the back. Yep, it gives you enough coverage and it's really cute. It's got this bow. So that's adorable. That's good. So I think we've gone over all the body types um, and it's a good idea if you really want to look pulled together have some kind of a little cover up or a sarong. It's fun to have a hat, that really helps with sunscreen too. Cute sunglasses. If you're gonna wear jewelry, you know, don't overdo it. Just wear a little a little hoop or stud or, or whatever you wanna wear that you're fine with, one, maybe getting lost, and two, getting in the water. You wanna be able to play, you know, when you're out in the sun. And so I think those are all the things that we had to talk about today, what you can also do always is, you know, you can set up an appointment with me virtually or um, I've even done it where you're in the store and you, we are, we are doing FaceTime together and you're showing me in the dressing room what you've come up with. So any way that we can help you feel comfortable because it is, you know, it's a, 
it's a little bit vulnerable of a feeling when you're you're out in public in a bathing suit, especially now that we're not supposed to get any too much sun. We feel very sort of naked. So, um, so that I wanted to discuss this with you because it's the time of year to check out all the bathing suits, and you don't need a million different bathing suits, but you do need bathing suits that fit. So don't end up with a bunch of bathing suits for the same thing that your closet has these other kinds of things. For example, don't get a bathing suit because it was on sale. You know, but you're constantly pulling it down or hitching it up or you got it too big because you loved it, but now every time you get out of the water, your the bottom half of your bathing suit falls down. I've, I've done that before and it's a nightmare. Um, water skiing, had no idea. My friends in the boat were doing this. I had no idea that the bottom half of my uh, bikini bottoms were down around my ankles. So anyway, we don't want that to happen to anybody else. <laughs> Did that happen with friends or with family? Oh, maybe it was with family. I think Brady was in there with me. Maybe Daddy was driving the boat. Whatever. It was not. It, it, I was horrified. <laughs> Dropped immediately, of course. Dropped the rope. But anyway, um, those are. That's a quick, short version uh, run through about different body types and what bathing suits work best. So please feel free to ask questions, make comments. Um, we really appreciate you watching our videos and remember that we're always here to help. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.